Caillou Ninja News, or CNN for short, with your host, Caillou Ninja. Okay, welcome back to Caillou Ninja News, or CNN for short, and don't forget, I'm your host, Caillou Ninja, broadcasting my show in Caillou Ninja News, or CNN for short, anywho, in the news. Ooh. Okay, guys, Governor wants to sign an executive order strengthening Connecticut's travel advisory for people entering from states with high rates of COVID-19. Travelers will be required to fill out a form upon entry. Barrier to do so may result in a $1,000 fine imposed by the Connecticut Department of Public Health. $1,000? That is a lot. It's like 100 times 10 much all together oh i guess all right guys i know that Walmart gone too far but he is doing good you think he stopped there nope nope no 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 he didn't stop there he just did it pause the bus right in there right in that level nope he ten turned around and added 10 more states to travel to to the travel advisor. Ooh. He added Alaska, Delaware, Indiana, Maryland, Missouri, Mount Nana, North Dakota, Nebraska, Virginia, and Washington. And you know that Washington is the is the is the last name of, of George. George Washington. You know that Virginia is the country that bore that George Washington has has been born. Did you know that? Okay, anywho. One state has been removed from the list. Minnesota. 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 It's like a Minnesota. <laughs> the travel advisory includes 31 states. This list will continue to be updated on a regular basis as the situation develops across the country. For the most up-to-date information, with visit to the, the state's coronavirus website at ct.gov slash coronavirus. In other news. Ooh. Here's the moment you've been waiting for. For my interview with the one and only Big Papa, Terry Mayor, Mark Bowen. Drop mic. Did you know? that when he was 16, he worked at Chuck's Steakhouse. Eventually, he made his way from dishwasher to prime rib cutter. And when he would get home from, from work the dog, he would spend the night wicking his shoes, according to his sister, Donna. Welcome back to Kane. Welcome back to Kane. Ask a question. And what I ask you, about eight questions total. Four questions are serious and not funny, ones are funny and hilarious. Okay. That's now we're for fun. Okay, so we'll start with the serious questions. Because we did every time. So, these, so, question number one. These last few weeks have been stressful for all of us. How, how do you unwind and de-stress while in quarantine? You know, that's a great question. Um, so I've been doing a lot of uh, working on my car. I have a, a Mustang that I, uh, car that I uh, to do my own work on, which I like to do. And that tends to relax me because it makes me think of problems other than city problems. And it, it just makes me happy to do that. So I, I try to work on my car. I walk my dog a lot. I spend a lot of time with my dog. And um, uh, between those two things, uh, that gets me calm. But definitely working on the car and hanging out with Ellie Mae is what makes me happy. Well, you know what calms me down? Seeing the couch and okay. watching TV. Yeah, that, that works. Yeah, now question number two. Which, which one would you, would you rather do again? Would you rather do a brain surgery or have an nasal swab COVID test? Let me guess, COVID test. 
because you, yeah, I'll never, take the I'll take the COVID test. Yeah, I know because my mom told me that that you did brave by the COVID test, right? Right. At the well, nature. it was the deep nasal you were very test. Very brave. You were very yeah, brave. It was a deep nasal test, so it was pretty deep. Okay, so question number two: What has been the biggest challenge that that Danbury had what has faced during the pandemic? Well, I think, yeah, I think the pandemic has been the challenge, and we have this city the community. The challenge, like you are supposed to wear masks, and I yeah, think yeah. that wearing the mask is a challenge, and but people have been good about you've it. You've been doing a really good job guiding our city through the pandemic. Do you have a message? Do you have a message for all of my viewers? I do. Wear your mask. It's not a joke. Make sure you wear it. Use your Purell, right? Your, your hand lotion. Wash your hands frequently and stay away from large groups of people. And we'll get through this. We, we're just waiting for a vaccine and we're going to get one very soon. Okay. Okay. So, funny questions. I hope you can't wait for these questions. Okay. Okay, so. Now, this is what my people are dying to know. What's the origin story of your superhero name, Big Papa? <laughs> I just like uh, Biggie Smalls, that's all. I just like the music. So I just kind of adopted the name. Question number three. We have this received information from F from a F from very credible but in nine in, in Anonymous. Anonymous. Anonymous source. Is it true that when you were four years old, you you think that you were a superhero and flew downstairs? Yeah, that is true. <gasps> I don't know where you got that from, but we're going to find out after this. Mom event. told me. <laughs> That's a true story. I think my dad might have told your mom and your grandmother at one point. Okay. Oh, no, no problem. No problem. Sorry. Final question. Sorry. Is the DMV open yet? Wait, say that again? Is the DMV open yet? Oh, the DMV. No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> no questions about the DMV. I don't run the DMV. Thanks, Mayor Button. That was quite an interview. And thanks, Donna, for the intel. This is the end of the show, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to youtube.com slash c slash slash Ninja. Bye-bye now, and see you in the next week's episode.